All of this is coming on the day that prosecutors dropped criminal charges against the archdiocese, citing its ongoing efforts to try to prevent future clergy abuse. Bill Hudson was in court today when the archdiocese admitted its failures to act. Pretty incredible moments in court today, you guys. County Attorney John Choi believes the Archdiocese is going above and beyond to correct the wrongs of the past. Now, evidence of that came today when Archbishop Bernard Hebda made a personal apology. Last summer, Ramsey County filed civil and criminal charges against the Archdiocese of St. Paul in Minneapolis, alleging church leaders failed to prevent and report Father Curtis Waymire's sexual abuse of three boys. It was not only Curtis Waymire who harmed children, it was the Archdiocese as well. The county attorney's goal all along was to get the Archdiocese to admit wrongdoing and its failure to deal with abuse allegations. We are sorry. Today, Archbishop Bernard Hebda I... delivered it personally in Ramsey County Court. We failed to give priority to the safety and well-being of the children he hurt over the interests of Curtis Waymeyer and the Archdiocese. In response to the church's new measures to protect kids, the criminal case is being dropped. All alleged wrongdoing is now immediately reported to police and clergy removed. Archbishop Hebda will attend restorative justice sessions with victims. And finally, noted child protection advocate Patty Wetterling will serve on the board that reviews all alleged abuse. I hope that we're going to be able to demonstrate that that's what we're committed to is doing what's right. County Attorney Choi called the agreement unprecedented. I don't ever recall ever in my life uh, seeing as a condition of probation a court ordering a church how they should run their affairs. Yeah, absolutely unprecedented. Now, Choi credits the church with going beyond what's required in the agreement. Court oversight of the archdiocese extended another year through 2020. Other stipulations require child protection training, criminal background checks, even fingerprinting of staff and clergy. Now, the church agrees to annual audits of its procedures, issuing these reviews every six months before the judge. Wow. All right. Thank you, Bill. Sure thing. And we will have more on the church abuse documents and today's court agreement on WCCO.com.